Hello viewers, if you are new to my channel, then kindly don't forget to subscribe to it by clicking on that red subscribe button on the bottom right of your screen. Also click on that bell icon to stay in touch with all the updates from my channel. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick demo of how we can reduce our manual efforts for creating default lists in Excel. As we all know, we are going through this uh, pandemic situation where we are uh, bound to take online lectures and as a result, online attendance is of utmost importance. So whichever medium we are using for conducting our online lectures, it could be Google Meet, it could be Zoom or Microsoft Teams or whatever. So basically, we need to take the attendance from the students. So what we do is at the end of each lecture, we pass on one Google form. The students fill those Google forms and you get an attendance in uh, something like this in an excel sheet or a google sheet so basically this is what we do but when it comes to creating the default list out of this it becomes a real headache because the google sheet may look something like this so it would be really difficult for us to apply filters and then keep on manually entering each and every student's data uh, i'm not an expert in excel i'm just trying out few of the options using which we can e ease our work we can ease our manual efforts so for that purpose what i am trying to do is I'm not relying on any macros or any lookup tables. I'm simply using basic uh, Excel formulas with the use of which we can reduce the manual efforts and simplify the entire process. So basically I have created a partially automated kind of Excel sheet, not a completely automated sheet because you need to do this manual work. What you need to do is once you have uh, downloaded your response sheet, just copy the roll number column. Okay. Simply copy this roll number column. I don't need anything else copy this roll number column and paste it in the automated sheet format which I will share with you all okay so this is the automated sheet format okay what exactly happens is uh, these are the students and you can see these are the lecture data okay so I have not entered them manually as you can see I have added some formulas over there right because this formula is basically using an if statement okay if this 13 matches with the corresponding column which is column number b of this sheet that is present student roll number sheet which is present over here if this 13 matches the present roll number students over here then the corresponding attendance value will be marked as one otherwise it, it will remain blank so this is what i have done for each particular attendance date so now whatever data i have copied kindly paste it over here uh, i'm talking about this data this row data copy it once again if you have not copied it yet and paste it over here so now if i copy this formula from this column to this column okay simply copy it and paste it over here just make sure to make some changes over here instead of h it will be i in both the places because we have incremented the column by one now press enter and drag this sheet and you will be done so all these values whichever is marked with one is present for that lecture and all those are marked with na are absent you can verify this for example six is not present let's go and check if i sort this particular row you can see six is not present so that's how it could simplify our efforts and at the end i have also marked the count the total count over here okay so uh, how many lectures the student has appeared will be shown over here so again over here you need to make some change because accordingly you can do the count for example in my case i have done the count till this column so what you can do is you can instead of j5 you can drag it up okay whichever uh, column you want you can add it till that okay now press enter okay let me see some mistake over here this s5 okay press enter and then drag this column also so at the end you will get the total count of that particular student appearing between a particular date range so in this case from lecture 1 to lecture 9 
this particular roll number one student has appeared for all the nine lectures. So in this way you can create a simple yet effective semi-automated sheet. I would like to repeat it's a semi-automated sheet because it's not uh, reducing the manual efforts to zero. Some effort is required in copying the roll numbers and pasting it over there. So I guess that is helpful because it reduces a slight manual effort from our side. So if you feel this video is helpful to you, do remember to subscribe to my channel, like my videos and share it with your friends. Thank you so much. Stay connected. God bless you.